This is Sachin Menon, indirect tax head of KPMG in India. The coming budget 2022 is expected to lay down the roadmap for revival of Indian economy. Amidst the resurgence of COVID-19 and the rising inflation, high current account deficit and a high fiscal deficit. In fact, the fiscal deficit is hovering around 6.8% of the GDP as opposed to the FRBM target of 3%. Therefore, the ability of the government to spend lavishly is limited in this budget. At the same time, if you look at the GST collection, the good news is that the GST collection is hovering around 1.30 lakh crores on an average for the last three months. And the custom duty collection is also showing up positively. This may be the first time that the total revenue collection from indirect tax exceeds the direct tax collection. And therefore, under these circumstances, I don't expect any new taxes to be introduced or an increase in the existing tax rates from the government side. So the thrust of the budget would be looking at enhancing the ease of doing business and also that enhancing the capex on infrastructure sectors which can have a ripple effect on the economy as regards demand creation is concerned and job creation is concerned and also that do some housekeeping in terms of anti-evasion measures. Now, if you look at the customs duty side, the customs duty is definitely going up, collection is going up. Maybe most of these collections are going up on the background of rising inflation, maybe one factor, but at the same time, the system is effectively functioning. We can expect that government would uh, tighten whichever loopholes which are identified which lead to tax evasion. At the same time, government has announced so many many measures in the, in the recent past for simplifying the compliance burden under GST law by abolishing the GST audit report and also that uh, increase in the periodicity of return as far as the SMEs are concerned then allowing the transfer of credit lying in the electronic cash register between CGST and SGST and also that rationalizing late fees. From the expectation of the trade is concerned, the question of the inverted duty structure being addressed or the question of rationalization of GST rate is concerned, that may not see the light of the day in this budget because the group of ministers are yet to submit their report to the GST Council in this matter. Similarly, the expectation that uh, diesel and petroleum will be included in the GST, though it's a long-standing demand of the industry, it may not become a reality in the near future because the states are not in favor of such a proposal owing to the revenue considerations. On the customs duty side, uh, there is expected a lot of uh, revision and review of the existing customs notification. Some of them may be resigned, some of them may be uh, withdrawn or amended. This was announced in the last budget. That's, in a, that's one of the action points. And as regards the amnesty scheme which is expected, while looking at the success of the service tax and excise amnesty scheme in the past, government all for probability would announce a, an amnesty scheme for the pending litigations as far as customs, customs issues are concerned. And this is with an intention to reduce litigation as well as moving up some duke revenue by settlement. Overall, the current budget would be focusing on igniting the demand and consumption, creating job opportunities and leaving 
more disposable income in the hands of the public and also that all measures which is required to ease the investment climate and this is with a view to achieve a double digit growth in the coming year thank you